So those are the kinds of things that you have, your, you have to ask yourself and you have to list out. What kind of tactics do I employ that, is, that may or may not be working? That's the kind of um, questions you have to ask yourself when going through the situational analysis. And this is literally your first um, stage in creating that specific strategy. Okay? Um, questions? None? Okay, next. <laughs> Next is to determine your goal. Ano ba talaga ang gusto mo? Like, do you just want to have more followers? Do you want, uh, do you want to drive more traffic to the blog? Um, basically, this involves you really being specific on what you want to have or what you want to achieve through social media. So, uh, in determining your goals, you have to craft a smart, ano, a smart, um, uh, a goal statement, and that goal statement has to be smart. I'll discuss the meaning of smart in a little while. So, ayun, you have to um, ask yourself, what do you want to achieve from social media first? So, as bloggers, I assume you want to get, uh, or no, I, I think it's reasonable to say that you want more traffic from Facebook, from Twitter, from all the social um, networking sites, uh, and you want to get some sort of following, some sort of um, engagement in those specific platforms and in your blog as well. So uh, that's that's the main uh, that's the main um, objective that you have or goal. The, the the to make it more um, achievable, you need to you need to create a goal statement that is smart. So what is smart? Okay. So these are my examples of uh, goals that I have for uh, some of my uh, some of the people or some of the companies that I work with and uh, institutions that I work with. Uh, of course, there's lead generation, uh, there's loyalty, brand loyalty, and retention, or not, sorry, customer loyalty and retention, and then there's brand awareness or um, awareness of a specific um, that? Um, movement or, um, ayun, or a specific movement. So but these are examples of goals. Okay, a smart, uh, a smart is defined as specific, Measurable, attainable, relevant, and time bound. So we need to be a specific task. Um, specific. So I want to have X number amount of followers in Twitter, uh, X number of uh, page likes for my Facebook page. I want to have an increase of 10% traffic, uh, an increase of traffic by 20, 10% monthly. So ayun, it has to be specific and measurable. It has to also be attainable. So we can't really expect, unless we have the budget, we can't really expect a uh, 600% uh, increase in traffic unless we have the advertising budget for that. So it has to be uh, realistic. Kung mga you shape it uh, uh, according to your trends, this is why it's important that you have your situational analysis. To find out, for example, for a span of three months, how you did with the current the current initiatives and tactics that you have, how much growth that you've acquired, and you will try to boost those efforts, try new tactics, and find out, parang how is this going to be uh, more effective if I use more or if I use more tactics for, to get more followers according to that specific goal. So it has to be attainable as well. Has to be relevant in that what you do or this school has to be relevant to what you do to your your blog and it has to be time bound. Kailangan may deadline. Kasi kung wala yung deadline, magiging kapat magiging ano lang yan, magiging uh, unless you put a deadline on a goal, it's just a dream. It's not going to be achieved. So uh, for me, I created something that's probably not, that's most likely not my idea, but I have this three month rule. In that I try to measure clients, um, my clients' uh, performance in, in terms of their social media presence every three months. So that's my three month rule. And for me, uh, at least I'm able to deliver to them um, results in three months then. So it has to be time bound as well. Next is you have to determine your key performance indicators and metrics. So, do we have questions from um, uh, stages? Yes. 
Okay, I need to go down. Ayun. So determine key performance and, and key performance indicators and metrics. So what yung mga KPIs mo? These are the numbers or the specific numbers and metrics that you have to reach. So of course, this has to be aligned to your goal. So if it's if your your goal is to get more views for your website, you have to count traffic from Google Analytics. You have to count clicks from our link clicks from Facebook. So you have to be aware of those, and you have to put it down in a piece of paper or in a spreadsheet, and you have to take note of those. Okay. Um, and know when it comes to determining key performance indicators, you have to understand the three R's of social media. The three R's of social media is reach, relevance, and resonance. Reach is an indicator of the number of people who you have reached or who have followed you back, who you have with your influence over. So yeah, um, that's reach. Relevance is, it's an indicate, it's an indicator of how relevant who are okay. the target audience, how, how uh, in a way you affect their lives uh, or affect their interests. Like, uh, for example, I'm, for example, interested in Superman um, toys. If a brand or if a specific blog is talking about uh, comic books and has like a specific uh, time of the year when they post all about Superman um, uh, comics, then I, that, that I would consider that relevant to me. That's something I would definitely love to check out and to, you know, uh, be engaged with and want to be engaged with that specific blog. So, yeah, that's uh, relevance. And you can see that uh, this can be seen through uh, likes, uh, mentions, and uh, shares, of course. Uh, and you have to measure also uh, resonance. This is the action that your specific blog or your specific <coughs> media uh, makes. This is um, the action that your um, audience takes. So they share, they like, they comment on it because of a post you made. This is literally the kind of action. Or if they literally take action on a uh, post that you made, uh, then uh, that's a good thing. That's a good performance because that na relates it to that specific content. And really, this kind of engagement uh, is something that you should measure. So, uh, mga indicators ng reach relevance and resonance. For example, in Facebook, it's like um, link clicks, uh, sorry, post likes, page likes, um, shares and comments, link clicks. Those are the kinds of metrics that you have to watch out for. And you have to list down in a spreadsheet. At the end of this presentation, I'll show you what uh, what it's going to look like. And it's actually just a spreadsheet. So yeah. So keep note of uh, take note of these three um, R's in social media. And you have uh, you have an easier time. And determining course. But let's get this up. Oh, and the strategy is the full plan of attack. Kumaga, if you want to outbox the opponent, you outbox him. How do you outbox him with tactics like um, continuous jabs and really controlling the fight in the ring? So, yeah, that's that's, that's the difference. Initiatives, okay, the exa there are examples of initiatives. Uh, there's content creation, content creation, chat, chat ups, and influencer outreach. Um, the speakers next to me will discuss more about this because okay, Valerie coordinated, so there's that. But oh yeah, they'll be discussing more about that. But uh, you have to list this down, these uh, specific initiatives down as well, because this will be considered your um, this will be considered your uh, action points. What you have to do every day. Ito yung to do lists you know, uh, every day as bloggers for your social media accounts. Next is control and measurement. This involves listing down the tools you need to measure progress. And this involves really determining how you're going to measure them. Ako, I came up with the three moves. I didn't come up with it originally, I just thought of it. Na. Let's take that and measure progress every three months. Para how uh, how did they do in this? How did my Facebook pages or Twitter profiles did in like, every three months? So, 
you'll have it's up to you to determine based that depending on your audience. So um, it, it's all going to be your uh, your decision on how you're going to measure them. So I uh, just uh, list down the most basic examples of control and measurement. There's Google Analytics for traffic, Facebook Insights. We all know that we've handled Facebook pages before. And there's also Twitter analytics. It is very helpful um, in finding out uh, who tweeted, what kind of tweet you made was more um, influential, which got more reach. There's also tweet page. There, there's a myriad of online tools that's, that can help you um, measure your uh, traction and progress in social media. So what do we end up with at the end of the day? We end up with this, a social media management plan. You have your strategy laid out here. And these are the action points here, the tactics. These are your key performance indicators. And you also have your objectives back there. And you have your initiatives. Your, and you also have the tools that you'll be using. So, uh, and for your, for your results, you have to list them down. So uh, key performance indicators, just put them on a two by two, uh, two by two table and find out how you fared from this specific three month period to the next uh, three month period. So, ayun. Uh, that's all. Uh, that's it for my presentation. Do we have any questions? Um, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. Okay. Later, I'm going to so, our Bye -bye. next speaker is a social media analyst, very passionate in uncovering all the ways to drive awareness, engagement, and loyalty on our clients' business. On the topic of building blogging influence through social media, here is Miss Valerie Joy Devesa. Valerie, sig signal mo ko kasi hindi siya nagkiklicker. I have to scroll down. Anyway, um, what I'll be discussing today is all about um, building your blogging options to social media. Well, basically, um, we think that social, most people think that social media sharing is that um, bloggers think that when you just uh, publish a post, you just need to click share and that's it. But eventually, they'll, they'll realize that um, social media actually uh, takes quite a lot of effort to do before you can get um, the exact number of blogging audiences that you can actually um, want. So in order to get that, I think for first, you need to know your audience. So, bakit niya kailangan malaman yung audience? Well, basically, there are a lot of bloggers, not all, but um, a lot. Even I, when I was starting out, um, I'm not sure what actually or who will be reading my blog. Um, and, sino ba yung gusto kong magbasa? Madalas, I just think, um, I just need traffic, and I just need visitors, like 1,000 or 2,000 or 3,000, that's it. That's good enough. But, um, in digital marketing and social media, it's not just about getting clicks, getting traffic, it's, it's knowing who are the people who actually need your, your blog posts. And um, I heard earlier that they're, they're asking, um, pa paano yung wala pa kong followers, wala pa kong um, parang leaders, tapos yung iba, pangit yung blog posts nila, pero ang dami daw nilang followers. And, and, and to think that, uh, I think you shouldn't be thinking about marami yung readers na. If you think that his blog post or her blog post is crap or it sucks, and then you shouldn't be um, thinking that um, bakit, bakit siya marami um, followers. You should think that the sayang yung oras, bakit manginaya na kasi sayang yung oras na binabasa nila yung crap na post. And that's actually the next a thing that you should be considering. You need to um, consider um, your brand um, audience. I mean, your brand voice. Um, if you're if you're actually um, writing something, you need to think: Am I writing casually or writing professionally? Should I be more of a um, hipster, you know, faggish, you know, ikong jajemon type na post, or should I post something more? 
So we need to really think about your audience, how you will communicate with them. And then once you, you know, we are target audiences, how we will communicate with them, you need to fix write content for them. And for you to write a content for those people, you need to um, you need to know exactly exactly what they wanted to read. Because when when you're when you're targeting to get a lot of audience, you need to think and you need to, to put it in your mind like you need like open a file just because you're kid or just because your blog blog site is um maganda or um anas follow just because of that. If you follow them, they are entertained, they're getting a value from you. And if you wanted to get really um, good quality audience, like months, you need to consider creating a really good content. It's because to um, get an audience or get a leader, you need to first turn them to a evangelist or to a fan. So if you're writing crap content, definitely, even if you get traffic, They'll not go back to your site, right? But if uh, but if you you were able to write a good content, definitely yes, it will speak to their minds. Because um, in social media, I think um, content is vital, and um, anything that is not your best work is um, not good enough. Because um, I really like the Red Helpers um, in the room, wherein even if you just write a uh, content, um, or let's say you write a content for five hours, definitely you need to spend um, time score of that. So if you, if you create the content for five hours, you need to at least promote it for 20 hours. Hindi lang siya yung parang pagka-post mo, publish, share, and then that's it. Sayang naman yung five hours mo kung maghihintay ka lang ng readers sa pupunta lang sa blog mo kasi ganda ba naman yan. And um, the best way to buy audience for your content is to, of course, promote it. Kasi if if you're writing a blog post, however, kahit gano'ng ganda yan, kahit gano'ng ka, ka, ka dito, kadami yung ginawa mong research and all, kahit pa sobrang ganda na ng mga pictures mo. Kung if you're not really promoting it to them, sayang lang. Kasi, um, I really wanted you to think of this. You need to maximize the content that you're writing. Um, I, I know a lot of people who are good at writing. Uh, I, I myself is not really good at that. Hindi ako may magsumat, pero I, I really need to make sure that when I write something, I'll make sure na worth it siyang i-share at makuha ko yung value na gusto ko makuha dun sa blog post. So kung gusto ko yung blog post sa simulat po is mabot sa 100,000 ata. Dapat i-promotion ng oil ulit. Hindi ko parang tulad ko, pag-share ko, wait pa lang ako ng tao sa babas sa akin. And if you're starting out, definitely, wala ko na sa blog mo, di ba? Kasi they don't know you. So what's the best thing to do para ma para malaman nila yung Gan ko yung maganda sa mga ito. Dapat you need to share it. You need to, you need to promote it. You need to look for them, search for them. Sino ba yung gusto makabasa ng, ng post ko? And then, reach out to those people. Now, next is to... Um, next is... <clears throat> ito yung quote na gusto kong um, maalala nyo. Kasi, dahil pag ano maganda yung post ko, if people are not really seeing them, it's not worth it. Just because you created something that is awesome, um, it doesn't mean that um, it will be promoted on its own. So, that's what I said earlier, even if you don't know that, if you don't want to promote it, you don't want to promote it. Because even if I'm going to post it now, I don't know how to know it. How do you know that I'm going to post it? Same with you guys. If you're new, you're new, even if you're new, even if you're new, even if you're new, kahit gano'ng magandiyan, kahit 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 words na yan. Feeling mo sobrang ganda kung hindi mo siya ipapromote sa'yo. Okay, so next, please. Now, next will be engage with your audience. Sabi ko kanina, kung wala kang, wala kang kilala, you need to reach out to those people na feeling mo mababasa ng blog post mo. Kaya nang unang muna natin um, rule kanina is know your audience. Kasi kapag paano ka mag-reach out sa tao, we don't know who to reach out with, right? 
if you're a food blogger, definitely you need to search sino may gusto mong magbasa nito. Um, mga nagluluto ba o yung people waiting on food trip. Mga iba kasi yun, di ba? Kung may waiting on food trip, hinahanap mo, definitely yung sinusulat mo, hindi dapat about sa papano siya yung ito, di ba? Dapat ang sinusulat mo is saan ko siya pwede pabili, right? But if you're targeting um, yung mga gusto mong magluto, dapat ang mga sulat sa kanya is mga recipes na ha? So, if that's, if, if you're, um, let's say you're targeting yung mga gusto ng mag-food trip, dapat pa mahanap ka ng mga tao na nag- na mga nagluluto, gusto ko siya i-share, ah, i-share, siya pa rin di, di ba? Dapat nakahanapin mo yun sa Facebook, sa Twitter, or sa kahit saan pa, dapat nakahanapin mo sino yung mga mulit um, kumain. Tapos, doon ko siya i-share, di ba? Makita ko siya na mayroon siya sa pics, sa tapos, poor pics, ang pala yung pinapost mo. Eh, doon mo siya i-share. Ay, nakita ko, mulit ko sa ganito. Ah, gusto mo naman itong masakit. Something like that. Don't be shy na magsabi na, na baka gusto mo to or baka, baka interesado ka sa something ito na binas na simulat ko kasi if you don't ask you, don't, you won't get anything di ba? okay lang okay, naman kasi makakuha ng yes or no if you get yes the EA talk it to you if no okay lang next to you um, it, it sounds um parang andali pero hindi sila ng tao may limang reach out so next po Kasi for me, engagement in social media is actually more about conversation. So if you're if you're really into um, social media, if you if you notice dun sa um, post ko, social media siya, di ba? Pero from slide one, nang sa baba, wala kang pinag-get na Facebook, Twitter, and all. Kasi it's not about actually about Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube. Kasi those are just media. And social media is, wouldn't be social media. It just, it's just media. It's not the social part, di ba? And if you just post, share, and um, publish your um, blog post somewhere without even um, starting a conversation, walang mayayay. Kasi if in, in social media, in, in, in gaining your audience, you need to consider um, creating community, creating um, um, a group of people na magbabasa ka lagi. Kasi um, sayang yung pag-promote mo, magalit na hindi mo sabi ko, promote ka, na mag-promote nang mas madami sa oras na ginamit mo ng social media. Pero sa akin naman yung pag-promote mo, kung hindi mo naman sila na to turn to um, yung kumbaga leaders na kaya. Okay? So, that's it. Um, I hope you learned something. Thank you. Okay, so our next speaker is a entrepreneur, designer, graphic speaker, and founder of Taiko Philippines. Here is Joel Jan Manara on the topic of blogging tips and how increasing your blog audience. Click clicker, in clicker. Uh, thank you for the introduction. So, I'm Roel Manarang, and I have a bad news. But this is only for people who think that blogging journey is easy. Unless you work really hard on promoting your blog and doing the right things, you won't achieve success with it. Um, according to one source, there are more than 164 million blogs in the internet. And most of these blogs have less than 1,000 visitors per month. Majority of them, for the lack of a better word, they are fairly big failures. So, um, you see, I've been blogging for more than seven years. I've served more than 180 businesses around the world, from small businesses to Fortune 500. And one of my interests is creating award winning blogs. One of my blogs has recently hailed as the best business and finance blog in the Philippines two weeks ago at the Blogs Award. And um, if you if you study the psychology behind the, the reason why most bloggers fail, um, the answer is simple. Because they are spending their time doing wrong things. So, um, um, so, so, so what happened? Uh, the story. Um, most people dream of having uh, an Everest level uh, subscriber numbers and then 
Um, and that's that's fine. I mean, you want uh, everyone wants to make a splash naman. Um, they are willing to work hard. Uh, they don't need assistance. They want to earn their success. So what happens? So uh, after three months, um, uh, it turns out that they quit. So why? Why is that? Um, you know, because they are spending their uh, their their time, their time nila, uh, doing wrong things. So after three months, they'll see no results. Um, they'll have nothing to show. So, um, because in human psychology, uh, it says that if if, if you uh, it is hard to do something, uh, to continue doing something um, without seeing a rewards from it, and that's true, right? So, um, uh, ayan, So most people they want to have a, have a great love idea, and then uh, uh, they 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 wrote they wrote articles saying and they are they work hard. But still, they end up failure. So um, it's it's true, it's happening, but it doesn't have to be that way. So I have a question for you. Um, are you worried that the same thing happens to you? So if you answer yes, um, I'll be giving you uh, four tips today. Um, for the past 24 months, I've served different companies, and um, I had 100% well, um, project success rate on content marketing strategy, including blogging. So the first step, the yeah, the first step is speed and preparation so if you are familiar with uh, art of war it's a book written by Sun Tzu. um it's basically uh, a military military book used by military universities but it is now applied on different um things like business blogging writing and other sports so um there are three key main ideas from from this book and one of which uh, one of one 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 of it is uh, no, um, Gandhishan sabi niya, know your enemies and know yourself, and in 100 bottles, you will never be in peril. So, what does it mean? So, pag, pag kilala mo sarili mo, and then yung mga competitors mo, including the audience na gusto mong i-reach, mas, mas, mas mapapadali. And you can do this by creating an action plan. This action plan can be simple. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect because um, whatever you do, perfect plan doesn't exist. So, um, an action plan can, can include uh, like the keywords you will get to use, um, the design, how you will, you will sustain, how, what, what are your plans to sustain your goal, um, are you going to sell your products or, or uh, services, um, how will you acquire customers, how will you acquire visitors, so what are the topics and categories. So, it can be as simple as that. So, uh, um, the, the most important part here is you, you need to have, uh, you need to prepare a strategy um, a strategy and then execute it as, as fast as you can. That, uh, because um, believe, it not, believe it or not, kahit ano pang gagawin mo from your blogging journey, um, a preparation is indeed really important talaga. So, uh, so for this step two, uh, build alliance and core audience. So, um, I launched my second blog uh, two weeks ago. It's Lifehack Philippines. Um, so, um, before I launched it, I already had 3,500 Facebook fans. Um, I already have 35 uh, businesses that signed up to be as affiliated brands. And so, uh, yeah. Uh, and before I even launch it, I, 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 I am already earning. And the results I, I, I was receiving already there. Uh, my first, I, I remember my first day when I launched um, around 5,000 or 3,000 of visits. So, however, uh, anyway, um, you know, there's a secret. Um, the most effective na strategy in, in based on my experience is, is called influencer marketing or um uh what if uh I I'm I'm an Adobe blogger and then I had uh ten ten people that that I mentioned on my blog. Pag dinish sila and then she nila yung post na yun. Tapos ko sabi ng may one billion dish sila. Yung mga active subscribers nila magiging active subscribers ko na tika. Like, uh, um, of course, kung, kung if you follow the third step of the um, uh, To end this second tip, um, I would like to share this. Our success has really been based on partnerships from the very beginning by Bill Gates. So, uh, ito, ito siya. Uh, number three is create pillar content. So, pillar contents will, uh, these are contents, high quality. Um, it depends on you how you will define high quality. But pillar contests are contests that are so good that your audience will stick with you and keep you back and keep coming back for more. So um, in our case, yung mga blogs ko said, um, 
we don't we don't write the uh, celebrity gossips news or stuff like that. We only uh, write evergreen just for many years to come. So um uh, 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 promote more. So uh, this is the last tip and um dito mong madalas magkamali ang mga bloggers. You see, whenever I ask bloggers um, where do they spend their time on their blog, they said that 80% to 80 to 90% they are spending their time creating content, uh, contents, which is wrong. Um, if you really want to build readership, hindi ka nun. Um, the math that just doesn't uh, add up. I mean, um, kung sabi natin may 100 readers ka, um, ilan sa tingin mo yung mag-share sa, sa content mo na sobrang ganda, i-share pala ganda sa uh, press there. One percent? Two percent? Kahit ano pa yan, mas masyadong maliit yan. So, um, um, what you need to do is, uh, you need to promote more. Hindi mo kailangan magsulat ng day in and day out. Or if, kung magsusulat ka naman ng day in and day out, or sabihin natin, um, um, uh, sabihin natin yung lagi, magpapos ka daily, make sure na yung pag, yung, yung, yung time na i-spend mo for promotion is, uh, is, is higher than the, uh, content creation, you know, done. So, you can follow Pareto principles 80-20, 80% from distribution, and 20% from, um, creation. So, um, uh, I, I am, I am now allowing you and giving you, uh, um, so, uh, uh, yeah, um, I am allowing you to put your content, you already have it in the hands of more people. So, kasi kung sobrang ganda naman ang content mo, kung 100 people na hinginagod yan, uh, it means uh, there are more people na sugada makikinagod yan. So, um, it's your turn. I hope that you have, you will prepare strategies uh, and execute it as fast as you can to help you um, help your blogging journey. I hope that you will build a relationship and alliance that will help you to grow your um, blog uh, faster and better. I hope that um, you will you will have you will take your customers or readers to you and keep back travel for more. And then I hope that you understand the importance of distribution. So and make sure that you um, spend four times higher than the inflation. I'm Rowell Manara. Thank you. Valerie to join Buell here in front. So we will accept three questions. three questions, one for each. So please make your question brief. Uh, who would like to ask the question? Can we uh, approach the microphone? Anyone? Dapit na kagad. Can I ask everyone to say hi? Hi. Hi. Hello. Again. Oh, Sunny. Yes, Sunny. Last question. Okay. Sunny, kindly approach the microphone. Hi, good afternoon. Um, I just want to uh, know the basis of the application of Pareto principles. Uh, content development and uh, promotion. 20% uh, of content, and the way I understood it, 20% of uh, content creation and 80% of promotion. So I just would like to know the basis. Okay, who would like to answer that? Only one of you can answer. Who would like to answer that? Okay. <laughs> 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 that's a uh, um, good question. And in, um, Pareto principle is a principle that can be applied on anything. Um, it's a principle that was created and written by Pareto. So, and it really works. Na talagang pwede mo siya i-apply anything on blogging. So, content creation and, and promotion. You know what? If you spend 80% na mag-create ka ng content, tapos 20% lang promotion, kahit anong ganda ng content mo, kung di yan mag-consume, walang mangyayari. Pero if you spend 20% um, on creating your content, and then you have 80%, and then you promote it. Even if you are not good at it, you are not good at it. And then the fans will be like you, or you can send them a message that they want to improve this and improve that. Because um, not all brothers who are going to be started are going to be good at it. So, that's uh, so, yeah. the basis of LP Apple on anything that is on that. Well, so it works so well, so you really want to try it. Uh, just, uh, 
Um, 20% of the synapses we, we may end up um, creating a pressure on them that is uh, that would not be value adding. And then if you do this 20% of our promotion, we may end up backfiring uh, our network. And you know that how it works, right? I agree with that principle. And it's more on, at least on my opinion, that one, uh, it should be 50 50. You spend so much time developing the right content. But, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, um, I, I agree. Um, and it, it, it also depends. Because I, I say, oh, um, what what works for me is 80 20. So if, if, this, uh, if what works for me is 50 50, then you need to stick with it. Say, you know, you're going to be doing it. The bottom line is and the most important thing, uh, thing here is that uh, you should do whatever, you, do the right things that provide you the, or the, that deliver you the result that you really want. So, yeah. Thank you. I was supposed to ask this for a moment, but I guess. Any, uh, the other question? I need to test this. Let me ask you, it's based on even marketing, it doesn't really work. Because there are some thoughts that say, here, you can sign up your new center. How does that work? How yeah. does that really work? You mean marketing? Actually, marketing. It, it, it works. Because uh, for me, even marketing is important because um, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, those are not yours. But basically, email, email newsletter, email newsletter, your audience are your email. Yeah, you need an auto one. So, if you can focus on the for example, or one of these days, lima na yon, ten years from now, mahawala niyan. Pero yung newsletter mo sa'yo lang. And the good thing with newsletter is, um, you can always, um, what do you call this, experiment. Pwede mo siyang i-speed test, pwede mo siyang i-segment. So kung gusto mo segment na yung mga babae lang dito, yung namatang ng newsletter mo, yun. And it's free, kasi, mas, kasi sa'yo na yun eh. Alay kapag sa Facebook, gusto mo yung segment, kailangan mo magbayad, di ba? Pag, pero sa newsletter mo, sa yun. Which is, um, pwede mo rin i- um, talk dito. Kahit mo lahat yung data, um, kahit mo lahat yung mga uh, in short, kaya mo gawin lahat ng newsletter mo. Kasi sa'yo na yun eh. Alay kapag doon nasa mga um, Thank you so we we'll having a break. Break muna. Break muna. Ay, wala pa ka. Break muna tayo. Okay, pause muna. So,